Welcome to Clinical Skills at the Leeds School of Dentistry. This video is an introduction on how to use ADIC simulators which you will be using in the four clinical skills labs on site, numbered 1A, 1B, 2 and 5. It is important that personal protective equipment, PPE, must be worn at all times during the session. The location of these items will be pointed out to you at the beginning of the session. PPE must be removed if you leave the lab. Food and drink are not allowed in clinical skills. There are two types of ADEX simulators used in the labs, with subtle differences in appearance. The easiest way to identify them is the method used to open the heads. Type 1 has a hole to open the head, whereas Type 2 has a silver button. Type 2 ADEX are only located in Clinical Skills 2 and 5. On arrival, you must sign the attendance register. You will be asked to take a box from a rack which contains the hand pieces for the session. Take the one with the same number as the unit you are sitting at. The box will contain high speed and low speed burrs and high speed and low speed hand pieces. On your unit there will be one mask, a set of jaws, a waste water bottle and one set of instruments numbered the same as your unit. There will also be a fresh water bottle pre-mounted on the unit which provides water to the 3-in-1 and the high speed hand piece. Please mount the waste water bottle on the unit, taking care not to trap the yellow pipes. Take the mask and if not fitted, attach the head outlets as follows. Make sure there is no debris in the outlets and push them from the inside of the mask to the outside. Using the thumb on the dominant hand and just twisting the outlet with the non-dominant hand until it is through, creating a seal as shown. Next, identify the upper set of teeth. Align the screw positions as shown and by turning the thumb screw in the clockwise direction, mount them into the jaws. Do the same with the lower set of teeth again using the lower thumb screw. Break the jaw as follows. This enables easier insertion into the mask and easier removal of the lower teeth for inspection. We will now insert the jaws into the mask. To do this, use the nose portion of each for alignment. Tease the mask around the jaws ensuring there is a seal all around. Open the jaw, it will click. To aid fitting, we must move the unit to a comfortable position. First switch the units on. Type 1 switches on here, Type 2 switches on here, either to the right or to the left. On the torso of the units there are two buttons. The right when pressed enables you to move the unit forwards and backwards. The left allows you to move the unit up and down. You must keep the button pressed until the position you want is reached. To open up the head of the Type 1A deck, simply lift the head up. On Type 2, press the silver button at the left side and at the same time lift up. We now need to align the two holes on the top of the jaws with the two pins on the unit. When they are aligned, use the large thumb screw to secure the assembly to the unit. Type 1, simply flip the head closed. Type 2, press the silver button in and press the head closed. Next on both units, connect the two grey pipes that come out of the torso to the two silver head outlets as shown. When in position you may want to rotate the head for easier access. To do this on Type 1 A deck, open the head as in the previous instructions and loosen the flat thumb screw with the yellow dot. Rotate the head to the position required, then tighten and close the head. On Type 2, open the head as in the previous instructions. Locate and remove the pin. Insert it in the capstan. Loosen and move to the position needed. Tighten, then replace the pin and close the head. On your unit you will have four principal items you will use after you switch the unit on. The 3-in-1, HV suction, low speed handpiece, high speed handpiece. The 3-in-1 is permanently attached to the unit and has two buttons, one for air and one for water. Press both to get a mist. To operate the suction, 
you push the lever on the suction pipe upwards. On type 1 you also have to push the black toddle switch on the foot pedal to the yellow position. Please note that the suction must be switched on at all times when using water on the unit. Take the high speed handpiece out of the blue box and push onto the connector on the unit, the one with the brass rings. There is a variation to mounting the low speed and high speed handpieces on each type. On type 2 the low speed handpiece comes in two parts. Push them together to get one piece and make sure the motor is set to the fully forward position. To operate the slow speed handpiece on type 1, take it out of the holder and press the foot pedal. The same technique is applied for the high speed handpiece. On type 2, use the toggle switch to choose between the hare and tortoise. The hare for high speed and the tortoise for low speed and press the foot pedal. If you want water, for use with a high speed, move the toggle switch on the foot pedal to the blue dot. Inserting the burrs into the handpiece will be covered by another presentation. However, the burrs must be removed when leaving the unit unattended. To disassemble the handpieces, if the connectors have black dots, squeeze these and pull apart. If the low speed have been screwed on, unscrew and remove. On type 1, the high speed can be removed by pulling back on the collar. At the end of the session, put the hand pieces in their boxes and place back on the rack. Disassemble the mask and jaws in reverse order, placing the teeth back in their boxes. Dismount the waste water bottle and wash these in the waste water sink. Place the washed items back on the unit and place the simulator in the home position. Arrange the instruments from left to right, five red, four blue and three yellow. You can then get your unit checked by a member of staff. For further information, advice and guidance, please see a member of the clinical skills team.